What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Eat with Coral Blush. Guys, I finally reached 8,000 subscribers. Oh, I will be doing me live. It's probably going to be at the weekend though, but keep an eye on my community post tab thing um, and I'll tell you exactly which day and what time me and Kenny will be going live. We'll have some snacks, food, we'll have a few drinks with you. So get ready to keep an eye on the community tab. I've made this again. I know I've not long made it, guys, but it's what I was making for tea and I thought I didn't do a video yesterday, so I'm going to have to record this. So here we've got some um, salt and pepper, spicy chicken with crinkle fries. Uh, Kenny's literally just came in as well. Me drink, I've got Coca-Cola. And also got this. It was obviously a normal bottle of mayonnaise. And once it gets like halfway down, I then add loads of Samyang in, give it a shake up, and it gets spicy meal, delicious. So I'm just going to pour this all over. Plenty spicy sauce. Yummy. These are just the ready-made gastro chunks in Aldi. Nice and chunky. Mmm. You can get southern fried, plain battered or hot and spicy. I got the hot and spicy ones. <laughs> As if it wasn't hot enough. So obviously I just do my fries in the air fryer. I'll just put these chicken chunks in the oven while I um chopped and cooked off um some green red peppers and some red onions. And obviously I put garlic, Chinese five spent spice loads of chili flakes mm. and once everything's cooked you just literally toss it all up in a pan super easy when you buy it like that anyway most chicken chunks are lovely mm. Especially that meal. Mm. Couldn't believe it though when I seen the 8k guys. We're there, we got there. Finally. I think even Kenny's looking a bit excited to do their live. <laughs> eh, how are the moon? <laughs> We went out on Saturday night um, with his family, his um, nan and granda and auntie's uncle's brothers. Um, we had a lovely night, um, just up to the local pub, had like with tea and stuff and we had a few drinks and then we came home, got some more drink to bring home and then we watched the um, Tyson Fury boxing fight. And I definitely think that um, the other guy, what was the other guy's name, Ken? Iguana. Who? Iguana. Iguana? Iguana. 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 <laughs> Anyways, we definitely thought he was the winner, like. Everyone did. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, that guy done really well, like, considering he's not a official boxer. My mum's just said the day that if you Tyson's called it off, you know. Him and Yusik. Oh no. Dear. You knew that was gonna happen though, didn't yeah. you? His manager, Tyson's manager, the head of the box and for the last asking, he said um, he couldn't give a direct direct date, so you knew straight away then it wasn't happening this year. My mum was saying to think you Yusik should sue Tyson now, because mm -hmm. it was all set in stone, wasn't it? Tyson put on the Instagram yesterday, um, says next year, so you know nothing's happening this year. You wouldn't mind, but he slates everyone, doesn't he? Now that he can't do it, you'd be very quiet. Because he's out of shape. He's, he's, he's mm -hmm. 
Would he expect everyone else to get into shape like that? To fight him? That's why he didn't get into shape with the one that he's just fought. Ah, he's probably thinking he had a chance. I know. He definitely put, didn't put his all into that, like, because no. any other person he fights, he rips them to pieces, doesn't he? Doesn't give them the time of day, acts like they're all, like, pussies. But, um, this one, he was a bit, like, licky ass. <laughs> like, he wasn't, he wasn't, like... Didn't take him serious, that's Nah. But he was actually trying to tell the public, nah, he's actually a good fighter, and I thought, does he think this fight's too easy? That's why he's not, like... Trying to get in the heads. Obviously it wasn't. Give him a good run for his money. Even the opponent says, um, I knew if it had went to like a judge's decision, he would have lost like you already knew that. Well it would be just squeeze the bottom, wouldn't it, if you had a few. Mm-hmm. So that was our Saturday night. Um just had a chill day on Sunday. I didn't even have much in to um, do a video, guys. Literally, um, just chilled out all day watching the telly. I had a right, like, up my neck kind of headache. Do you know, like, behind your ear? I think I was in bed for, must it be four nine? I think it was, wasn't it? Kids are off now, though. This is, like, the first week of the Halloween, Halloween holidays, half term. Had to get up, take them to the dentist. Well, it was half twelve, the appointment. Oh, and then as we were crossing over, because my mum wanted us to pick a prescription up, Spen said he's had a sore ear, like when he presses it. No one knew how long it's been like that, and he said about three days. I went, Why did you never tell me? Well, like when you're in pain, he's like, not so much brave, but he like just never tells me, like, does he? Like, if he's got a headache or anything, he just puts up with it and like suffers in silence. I went, God, I could have been giving you some uh, tablets. So while we were down there, see so how we would go to the doctors and uh, make the appointment because sore ears can be like a sign of an ear infection. So we went and got my mum's prescription, went to the dentist, everything was fine. Um, he said, What is Spencer's uh, Oscar's tooth? Like, he must be missing it when he's. But one of his tooth do go like prefer that back, like as if he's when he's doing that he might be missing it. Mm -hmm. So he says just make sure he knows like to hit every tooth. I went right, we'll go over that. But they're all mainly his baby teeth anyway, so it wasn't like major. Um and then I called in the doctors to see if she had an appointment, just like for this week sometime. She said, Yeah, can you come back at half two? I went, What today? She went, Yeah, I went, Oh well, and so I went up my mum's seen her and then went back down to the doctors, but easy I was clear. No. Wasn't one bit of flamed or anything, so he says sometimes he can't have like an inner ear infection, mm -hmm. but just he says even with that he would, he would still see some kind of sign of it. So you just keep an eye on it, and if he's still like hurting him next week, then come back. Oh. <coughs> what have been dying? Uh, when I do, they had no pumpkins. No. No, not one. So they haven't got a pumpkin. Not unless Tesco up there's got one. Huh? We'll get them Tonight? It's already getting dark, guys. It's getting dark dead quick, isn't it? Since, uh, since the clocks went back. The clock in the doctors was still like an hour fast. Mmm. Mm. It's lush, guys. Even just the peppers and um, sauce and chips are lovely. Mm. Oh. Yeah, 8,000 subscribers. Thank you to everyone who's hit the subscribe. I still haven't even had a chance to go to like Iceland or a little or anything to see the Halloween foods. I said I was going to do a you know, and you feel like it's like another week till Halloween and it's not, it's tomorrow. <laughs> I 
getting yourself here now. Oh. It's filling and all that. Good idea, yeah, filling the mayonnaise bottle up. Mm. <coughs> I need to do those um, rice cakes, the cheesy rice cakes, what I got from the um, Asian supermarket. She did say do them with something and I forgot, but I did screenshot it, so I'll have to go back and have a look. Mm. Oh, had a nice night on Saturday. I can't wait for the M. That big moose and wort TP what comes to the Christmas market in Newcastle. Me and Kenya are gonna have a date night. Last time we went there was um when sub I was subscriber got with that um mm. what was it like an afternoon tea wasn't it over in Durham somewhere but we swapped it for to have like a burger and a beer in Newcastle and we were there we were like waiting in the moose and wort didn't we? Yeah. Till we're like meal time. Oh, ended up getting a bit half cut, didn't we? <laughs> Mid afternoon. <laughs> but that's lovely. Just sitting there watching the shoppers go by. Did you get a big stain on it? <coughs> getting massive big stains of air lager. Like it was their own like brand lager. They were quite cheap as well, weren't they? But it was nice just being me and him. Mmm. Time for like now, home or back. Mmm. -mm. Going to get the Halloween decorations out as well. Get them up tonight, ready for tomorrow. Left it really late this way, this year. Ah, oh, that was delicious. Well, guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, remember, stay tuned about the live. Hey, will you be working on Saturday? Probably will be, won't you? So it'll probably be Saturday night because I can't do a Friday night if he's going in on Saturday. But I'd like you to know anyway. Keep an eye out for me community tab posts. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified of future uploads. I love you all.